The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm talking about FPGA hardware and the future of retro gaming. I'm a big fan of quality hardware. I recently have been playing a lot on my Super NT. Amazing, amazing hardware. And, you know, this is the type of products that I prefer to play my retro gaming on. A lot of people ask me, what do I play my games on? I, while original hardware is great, it doesn't work the best with newer LCD TVs. And if you want to go old school, that's great. But moving forward, there's a lot of hardware that's starting to fail. And especially, especially with ColecoVision. Now, I like ColecoVision games. I don't like the original hardware. It, it's, it typically is buggy, glitchy. I've had a couple systems modded. I'm thankfully uh, have some successful original hardware, but for a lot of people out there, their hardware is starting to go. And a company, Collector Vision, they've been around a long time, and they've done some quality, quality homebrew games. And they're jumping into the hardware business, and they're making a Collector Vision Phoenix, which is a FPGA, Field Programmable Gate Array. And it is a quality product like the Super NT that's going to play original ColecoVision cartridges. Now, the thing is, is these aren't some cheap Chinese clone. This is a quality product that is going to be 100% compatible with ColecoVision games. That's right, 100%. There's no issues. There's, it's, it's going to be it's essentially just how, how a FPGA works is that it's able to have uh, a high percentage of accuracy. They're saying 100%. Really excited about that. And there are a lot of additional features that address that original ColecoVision hardware to make it 100% compatible. Now, they're currently doing a Kickstarter, and you know I've worked with this company before. They've always been transparent. They're great on details. Uh, I, did, I did a review of Sydney Hunter for the Commodore 64. They've done some homebrew games for a lot of ColecoVision games, but for some other things as well. Uh, this is a great company. I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited that they're uh, moving forward with some hardware to replace that original ColecoVision. Now, I'm a big fan of quality retro gaming hardware. This is the type of device that's gonna people are gonna get, and it's gonna have quality. Anyways, some information about the Collector Vision Phoenix. And so I'm not a big fan of the original controller of ColecoVision. I like the games. Don't really like the controller. What's cool about the Collector Vision Phoenix is that you're able to use a Super Nintendo controller. That's right, a Super Nintendo controller on your new unit. But if you're a fan of the original controllers, you can use that too. It's region free. HDMI hookups. And so it's going to have the DB9 controller port. Uh, you can use all your ColecoVision cartridges on it. Plus, plus Super Game Module support is built in. So you're probably wondering, what's SGM? Well, there's a lot of homebrew games that used additional uh, resources to play games. And so it supports all of them. Also supports multi-carts. Also has an SD card input. As well as a way to plug in a PS2 keyboard. So I, I, they're looking forward, future thinking, that this, uh, they can't say it outright, probably, but it's gonna probably have Atom support. They're probably moving forward, like keyboard input, possibly to do other things with it, just like this. Super NT does Super Nintendo, but it can also do other things. Same thing with the Collector Vision Phoenix. And so, really excited about that. Has a custom sound chip and has a pack-in cart, the Sydney Hunter series, which is a great, great platform puzzler. And, you know, I, I did one of them on my channel, and it's a great game. It's going to have a, a physical cartridge pack-in. That's so neat. That's, like, so old school. I love that. And 10 digital games are included as well. So I, I, I just think these are the type of Kickstarters that I can get behind. And so I, while I'm not supporting a ton of Kickstarter projects, this is one that I can say, okay, I know the people behind it. They've been very transparent about the process. If you go on the Kickstarter link below, it talks all about what they've done, how far they've came, 
everything about it. They show they show the, the prototype working. They show inside the shell what it looks like, everything that um, they've done. And you know, they've been very transparent with the with the retro gaming community. I really, really appreciate that about this project. And I, I wish them nothing but the best. Now, on the downside, the project uh, is expensive. You know, FPGAs aren't cheap. This is a quality project. This is a you know, this is something of quality, and it takes money for injection molds, etc. The two years that they've spent working on this, if the retro gaming community wants something of quality, we're gonna have to pay for it, and and that's one of those things where, to me. I would easily, hands down, support and purchase a Collector Vision Phoenix over something that's not as compatible, that's cheaper, that's going to have some issues, maybe not all the bells and whistles that this has. This is going to have an expansion port, and so they're looking at doing future compatibility with other retro gaming devices. I mean, I think that's awesome. And so there's, you know, question mark, you know, why couldn't they add, you know, something like a, an, a, an expansion module that would play your 2600 games in the future? I mean, oh my goodness, like there's so many great possibilities. And so that's why I'm doing this video because I do think that FPGA systems, now the FPGA systems that are on the market that you may know about, the, the Retro USB AVS, the Analog Super NT, and, and you know the, the Nintendo one as well and so these are quality products that people swear by when when they when they play them they're gonna be like this is the way to play your retro games this is a way to play your Nintendo Super Nintendo etc so having a ColecoVision that can do these types of things 100% compatibility I mean the device is really cute and and I, I like that it's compact in size and I like the fact that there's other features that they're looking not just to play ColecoVision games, but to do other things as well. Really excited about that. And this is the future. And the reason why I think it's the future is that it's, it's the type of 100% compatibility that I think needs to be in a product, especially with all the extra devices and things that come out. It, it, you know, the FPGA is a, a great idea for all retro gaming and all computer ideas. The only con is that they're expensive. And that's why you don't see more of these on the market yet. Fingers crossed. If you're interested, please go down to the link. And I'm 100% I'm, I'm behind this company doing this product. You know, and, and like I said, I, I think it's one of the best ideas to come out. And I wish more companies would consider doing these. It's kind of a risky move, but you know, Collector Vision has been upfront about what they've been doing for years. Um, I really like their products. I really like this product. I want this product to succeed, and you know, uh, you know, my hats off to them for for being upfront, to being transparent. They're also going to be at PRGE, so if you want to see this in person, please check it out. And so I'm excited to be hands on with it. I'm going to try to get some footage of it. So that's it. What are your thoughts about FPGAs? Uh, do you have any experience with the Super NT or the AVS, uh, Retro USB AVS? Comment below. I, I just really, I'm really, you know, fingers crossed for them. Uh, I want to support them 100%. That's why I'm doing a video. And just say, you know, these are the quality things that I think the retro community needs to get behind. And I really wish them nothing but the best. So thank you so much for continuing to tune in to my humble channel as I march towards 70,000 subs. I'm getting pretty close. I'm getting closer by the day, and I want to appreciate all the support. I've been doing a lot of live videos lately, and I've also been experimenting with doing live Facebook videos. So if you want to know when those are, I have a link below on my Mortal John Hancock Facebook page. Please be a part of that. Please like it. And, and that's pretty much where I announce all my live videos is on my Facebook page. So links below for that. Please check it out. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. This is the Immortal John Hancock. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. You take care.